this shouldn't be happening is probably what Italy's fans were thinking when the defending World Cup champions conceded first for the third time in a row in their last group stage match against Slovakia. In a game where Italy needed to win to get to the next round of the 2010 World Cup, they completely choked, losing 3-2 against Slovakia, a team who has only qualified for the World Cup once. To put that in perspective, Italy has qualified 18 times for the World Cup the third most of any other country in the world. In Slovakia, well, this was their first and only World Cup appearance in their history. Again, Italy 18, Slovakia 1. Alright, so Italy finishes bottom of the group consisting of the likes of Paraguay, New Zealand, and Slovakia. Yeah, not exactly the group of death by anyone's sense of imagination. So how did the star-studded 2006 defending champions get knocked out of the group stage? Well, you might say Italy had an aging squad who were at the end of their careers, and they had an average age of 28.2, which was the fourth oldest squad in the tournament. Alright, that kind of makes sense. They probably weren't at the same level as they were four years ago, and age does have an impact on performance. But Brazil had the oldest average age in the entire tournament, and this didn't stop them from reaching the quarterfinals, so that doesn't quite check all the boxes. Likewise, Paraguay was right behind them with the 5th oldest team, and they advanced ahead of Italy in the same group. Okay, well, what about conflicts and instabilities in the leaders and management positions? Marcelo Lippi coached the Azzurri to a World Cup title in 2006, only to be replaced by Roberto Donadoni, who was then sacked after a poor 2008 Euro performance. Then, to make things even weirder, Marcelo Lippi was then rehired to manage the national team. Now, this doesn't exactly scream stability if you ask me, although Lippi did have title success to back up the choice. But what if I told you that neither of these were the reason for Italy's early World Cup exit? What if I told you the real reason for Italy's catastrophic performance might be something else? Something much, much more sinister. It's widely known among fans and players as the World's Cup curse. You see, Italy are not the first European team to be knocked out in the group stage following a World's Cup victory, nor were they the last. It all goes back to the 1998 French champions, who were looking strong to defend their title in South Korea during the 2002 World's Cup, when it all crumbled right in front of their eyes. A team featuring the likes of Thierry Henry, David Trezeguet, Patrick Vieira, Zinedine Zidane, Marcel Desailly. I can go on and on. But France, just like Italy, finished bottom of the group. They scored zero goals and got just one point from a game against Uruguay. This was their group. Arguably better than Italy's, but again, not really a group of death in my book. After their last match, Marcel Desailly, France's national team captain, was quoted as saying, It's really something terrible, because it doesn't happen that the world champions go out in the first round. We still have the best players, but... Something was broken in the machine. Something was broken in the machine. Huh. Interesting. You know that feeling in FIFA when you somehow lose to that one friend who you always beat without a doubt? Yeah, that's what I imagined Desai felt like. Now, you. A normal, logical human being might say, well, curses aren't actually real. They're just made up excuses to give people reasons for why something happened that's difficult to explain, right? See, that's where you would be wrong. Now, the argument is not really whether the curse is real or not, because at the end of the day, that doesn't actually matter. What really matters is the psychological impact that such an idea has on the mind of, let's say, an elite level athlete. Psychologists refer to this thought process as a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is when the belief in a curse produces the perception of inevitable failure or misfortune. It is the mere suggestion of a curse which can produce negative outcomes. But I doubt every single player is aware of the curse, and that means it couldn't apply to all of them. Which completely scraps everything I just explained regarding psychology. Case closed, end of discussion. Wait a minute. There is a way that this curse can still be explained using psychology, even if the players were not aware of it to begin with. Perhaps it is even the most logical explanation for why the curse happened in the first place. In 1988, a study was carried out about winning after winning, 
titled The Psychology of Ongoing Excellence by Kathy Craner Phillips and Terry Orlick from the University of Ottawa. And in this study, they interviewed 17 world champions and how they dealt with the aftermath of winning the most prestigious title possible in their respective sports. Many of the athletes in the study had difficulty with being consistent after championship titles. They experienced increased expectations and demands from fans, coaches, and sponsors. It is these factors coupled with the expectations of future success that make it harder for athletes to focus on playing their best instead of winning all the time. Ultimately, this leads to a decrease in performance on the next run at the title. So there is something lurking, waiting, and ever consuming in the back of these elite level athletes' minds. Whether it's the curse or not is up for you to decide. All right, let's lay out what we've got so far. 1998, France win. 2002, out in the group stage. 2002, Brazil win. 2006, they get knocked out in the quarterfinals. Hold on, Brazil didn't lose in the group stage in 2006? Okay, little caveat here, the curse only applies to European teams. In 1962, Brazil was the only team since 1950 to defend their championship title. But in the following tournament in 1966, they did fail to get out of the group stage as well. I'm also not including Italy's title defense in 1938 because the rules were totally different back then. FIFA had not yet implemented a group stage in the tournament, so it started straight at the round of 16, and in 1938, there were also only 15 teams in the tournament. Alright, anyways, so 1998, France win, and then 2002, knocked out, 2006, Italy win, and then 2010, they're knocked out of the group stage, 2010, Spain win the World's Cup, and in 2014, oh shit, here we go again. Spain got knocked out of the group stage after an unstoppable and completely dominant run over the international game for the past six years. This was without a doubt one of the best national teams to grace the pitch, with a mixture of Barcelona and Real Madrid players like Sergio Ramos, Pique, Xabi Alonso, Fabregas, Iniesta, Casillas, and Xavi. They finished third behind Netherlands and Chile, only winning one game against Australia and Netherlands got their sweet revenge after destroying them 5-1. We are talking about a team that won the 2008 Euros, the 2010 World Cup, and the 2012 Euros. That's back to back to back, the most prestigious titles a European national team can possibly win. But they still couldn't escape the curse, and eventually, Germany were crowned champions in 2014. By now, you should be able to guess what happened to them in 2018. Germany had never in their history failed to get out of the first round of the World's Cup and are just behind Brazil in the record for the most World's Cup appearances ever with 19. They finished last in Group F, losing to Mexico and South Korea, only triumphing against winners of the group Sweden. We are talking about relatively the same team that absolutely defiled Brazil 7-1 at home in the semi-final of the tournament in 2014, and they couldn't escape a group that they were clear favorites in. If this isn't a clear indication of a curse happening, then I don't know what other evidence you need. The odds of this happening that many times in a row just doesn't seem fathomable. France are then crowned 2018 World Cup champions, and this brings us to the present day. All eyes are on France, the team who started it all in 2002. Will they be the ones to break the curse, or are they destined to repeat their failures in Qatar this year, allowing for the curse to live on for the next champions to endure?